Hello, I am Tomasz from Capturing Reality and today I will show you different techniques how to optimize price for your models by more than 50% using PPI licensing model in Reality Capture. There are times when you only need a model with lower quality and polygon count but with high resolution textures. These use cases are applicable for 3D printing, indie gaming, VFX oriented users and more. In this episode you will learn how to downscale your images before getting them to reality capture using Adobe Lightroom, how to use image layers for optimizing price of inputs, how to use image and camera selections in order to optimize number of cameras in your project, how to export and import components back to reality capture, how much we have reduced amount of needed PPI credits for this 3D model and compare final results in full and downscale quality. For this tutorial I will be using a nice dataset of a dragon created by Andrei Boleslavsky. Let's import these 1403 images to reality capture, adjust my workspace and click on input licenses to see how much would licensing of these inputs cost. As you can see it would cost $93.44 which is 8,418 of VPI credits. Let's see how we can optimize the price. I don't need a very detailed high polygon count mesh, but I would like to perceive high resolution textures. Since amount of needed PPI credits depends on the number of total megapixels of all inputs, by downscaling these images before import we can achieve lower quality of alignment meshing, but we will also reduce the price for this project. I will also do a little trick with image layers, where I will use full resolution inputs for texturing process, without increasing amount of PPI credits for licensing inputs. First, I will need to downscale these images to a lower resolution. You could also find downscaling of images in Reality Capture's alignment, reconstruction and texturing settings, but this will not create new downscale photos, neither lower the price for licensing of your inputs. I will choose an Adobe Lightroom for processing these images today, but you can also use any other image processing programs like Capture One or open source programs like Darktable, Irfan View and so on. As you can see, I have already imported these photos to Lightroom, selected them all, and now let's click on export. Here I can resize these images to 8 megapixels. Since I also want to use image layers workflow for creating mesh from 8 megapixel images and textures from full resolution ones, I will name the export folder to underscore geometry. If you are new to image layers workflow, check out my tutorial on image layers, link is in the description below. Ok, now let's click on export. Let's rename the original data folder to underscore texture. All the textures will be calculated from images located in underscore texture folder, while not increasing price for more inputs or higher megapixel count. Now let's drag and drop both folders to reality capture. If for any reason you are not seeing how much would this cost, click on input licenses under workflow tab. Ok, we have already reduced price to $31.15, which is 2806 of credits. This is a very nice result, but we are not done. Now let's align these images to see the quality of alignment. Ok, alignment is now finished. Let's see how it looks. It has created one component, which is great. It looks very good. We can now try to optimize the project to see if we don't have any images that are very close to each other. These kinds of images can often create misalignments and are increasing our price for inputs. So let's create a selection of these in 3D view and disable them. I will show you how you can do this. Reality Capture offers several camera selection tools. You can find them in alignment tab. Use the point lasso or the point rec tool to select a part of sparse point cloud and find the cameras that see these points with find images. If you wish to select a specific group of cameras in 3D view, use camera lasso or camera rect in order to select cameras. When you are using selection tools in 3D view like lasso, you can modify your selections by holding control key to add more cameras to selection or holding shift to subtract cameras from current selection. This also works for point rect and point lasso. If you want to remember your last selection, press ctrl shift f1 to remember the selection. You can remember up to 5 camera selections, while f1 equals for first selection, f2 for second selection and so on. 
If you want to activate your safe selections, press Ctrl Shift 1 to 5, depending on which number of selections you want to activate. You can also use Ctrl R for disabling selected inputs and Ctrl R again for enabling them back. I will now try to find all the similar photos and camera positions that can create misalignment, so I will speed up this for you and get back to you when I will optimize the number of needed cameras for alignment. Ok, this looks good to me. Since I have remembered the selection of cameras I want to remove, by pressing Ctrl Shift 1, I am going to activate these camera selections and by pressing Ctrl R, disable them. Now I am going to click on invert. I need to invert the selection because I want to export a component that consists of cameras which aren't disabled. In order to export component, I need to go to export part of alignment tab, click on registration. Now let's call it optimized dragon and click on save. This will export only cameras that were currently selected. What's interesting, this will also export paths to texture layers, so we will not lose them. Note, you can also export an image list instead of component, but you will need to import the image list to reality capture and create an alignment again. Now let's open a new instance of reality capture and to import the component go to alignment tab, then to import part and click on component. Now select the previously exported RC component and click open. All the images, which are now 1387, were imported with its image layers for texturing. Let's click on input licenses. And now we are on $30.79, uh, which is 2774 of credits. This looks pretty nice to me. You could decrease the price even more by using this technique of disabling cameras, but be aware this could lead also to lower quality alignment mesh and you could also overdo it. Now let's create a mesh by clicking on high detail reconstruction. As you can see there are two very similar projects side by side. However, the project on the left was created using high resolution images and on the right we have our project downscaled to 8 megapixel images. Both were created using high detail reconstruction. Let's compare them side by side. As you can see, these meshes are really dense, so we are unable to view them in full resolution in the viewport. So I have prepared a clipping box that will enable us to view the actual meshes. I'm going to scene context tab, then to clipping box and create a clipping box from reconstruction region. So let's zoom in. To my eyes, it's pretty good. There aren't so many micro details, but to be honest, I really don't need them. I only need high resolution textures. Though I will make some filtering with filtering tool, smoothing and simplification to make it easier to work with. I will speed this up for you. As I said at the start of the video, I only need high resolution textures. So let's calculate them from the texture layer at full resolution. First, let's create an unwrap. Go to unwrap parameters and change texturing style to fixed texel size. I will also increase large triangle removal threshold to 100, which will create better UV maps. And I will also increase gutter to 10 since I will downscale the textures. Now click on unwrap, create a UV unwrap. Now I am going to click on texturing. I am also going to create texturing process on the other project, where both geometry and texture layers are in full resolution, so we can compare them afterwards. Ok, now let's simplify the model to 1 million triangles. Let's reproject textures. My source model is this model 22 and I want to reproject this to model 8. So I am going to select source model as model 22 and result model as model 8. I also want to create a displacement map and also a normal map. 
Ok, now let's review the quality with textures in Sweetmooth. On the left, you can see the project with full resolution photos in geometry layer and also in texture layer. And on the right, you can see a project that consists of 8 megapixel images in geometry layer and full resolution images in texture layer. So let's zoom in. Well, to my eyes, there is not much of difference. Ok, maybe there are some uh, artifacts like this one which can be easily fixed with filter selection, but to my eyes it looks pretty similar. There is also a little bit less of detail, but it's really, really close. It's not like three times better, because just to remind you, this project is around $30 and this one $90. Okay, let's now license these inputs. I will now type my password. You can also type your PIN. Also one more thing, don't forget to download your license file for your photos. This license file will be stored on capturing reality servers, but only for two years. It's better to download and store it with your licensed inputs, which is in my case a folder with underscore geometry name. Ok, now I can export my model to my hard drive. In order to work with it in Unity, Unreal, Blender, Lumion and so much more. If you liked this episode, please like, subscribe and write in comments which tutorial you want to see next. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. I'm Tomasz and thank you for using Reality Capture.